Ladies and gentlemen, we are nine days away from the most important election of my lifetime. Stakes have never been higher, and the choice has never been clearer. President Trump and I have been friends for 25 years. I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. He is the most resilient, hardest working human being that I've ever met in my life. I know he's a great leader. This is not my opinion, not my hope. He's proven he can build the strongest economy in American history. He's proven he can secure our borders and keep our nation safe. He's proven to be the strong leader allies and adversaries alike must respect. He's proven he loves this country so much he's literally put his life on the line for it. What has the other candidate proven? <laughs> she can get your party's nomination without even facing voters. What else? What else can she offer the American people other than vague promises and no plan? She talks a lot about the need for change and her hope for the future. Hope and change. Does that sound familiar? She can use the old Obama playbook, but she's not Obama, and she is no agent of change. She is the sitting Vice President of the United States right now. What she hopes is voters will focus on the future because she doesn't want us looking at the last four years to see what we really need to change. We need change from sky-high inflation. According to Yahoo Finance, the cost of groceries is up over 25 percent during the Biden-Harris administration. Food is unaffordable for most Americans. That has to change. We need change from wide open borders. BBC News reports illegal immigration reached record levels since they took office, with an estimated 10 million border crossings. That's a 300 percent increase compared to the Trump administration, and that's not including the unknown millions who cross undetected. That is the record of the other candidate, the border czar of the Biden administration. We need change from weak foreign policy. According to the Institute for Economics and Peace, a nonpartisan think tank, there are mo think about this, there are more active armed conflicts now than any time since World War II. Weakness from the Biden-Harris administration has invited aggression and conflicts around the globe. When President Trump was our commander-in-chief, the world was a much more peaceful place. J.D. Vance touched on this, but I want to hit it again. Vice President Harris was asked recently by the objective journalists of The View. If there's anything she would have done differently than Biden over the past four years. And again, her answer was, there is not a thing that comes to mind. So, don't take my word for it, take hers. She will not change a thing. Hope is nice, but hope is not a plan. Change is needed, but change won't come from the status quo. And she is the status quo. If you want real change, you'll vote for proven leadership. If you want to return to economic prosperity, border security, and global stability, you'll vote for the one candidate who's proven he can deliver all of that. My fellow Americans, if you want what's best for your family and this country, you're going to vote Donald J. Trump as the 47th President of the United States. Thank you, New York. Have a good night.